All right, guys, we got a conference matchup, Kent State versus Coastal Carolina. We still have the same two recruits, Marcus Wright and Paul Jones, the end and tackle. All right, let's see how our Heisman watch is going. Grayson McCall is number three now. Hopefully he has a huge game. All right, so our season has gone like this. We beat Rice, we beat uh, Louisville, and we beat Kansas. So now we're going to go and play Kent State. They are terrible. This is a MAC conference matchup. We have three crucial recruits coming to this game, so hopefully we get a big win. We have Danny Wright, speedy back, Jim Thomas, great linebacker, and Brian Wallace, the number 11 cornerback in the nation. So, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's hope we get a huge win. Team pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Kent State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. Clipping is the call, Still and now they'll down. have to find a way to make up those yards right here. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Man out, man out, man out, man out. Omaha! Omaha! Run in! Easy, 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 easy! That's a great tackle at the 25-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First and 10. Ball on their own 25. After a decent pickup. That was a good play by the halfback. Picked up about five yards on the option. He's taken down at the 45. McCall's got the weight of the team on his shoulders right now after the way he performed last season, Kirk. And I'm telling you, the season he had a year ago, it really makes expectations go through the roof. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Gets it out quickly. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 48-yard line. Quick pass, and he's tackled at the 31-yard line. Impressive game there by the do-it-all back. First it's first and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 18. McCall's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. The 18. No game on the play. That makes it second and 10. From the 18 yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. He steps out right around the 10 yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Fires complete over the middle. And he gets the touchdown. He 
he makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws right, intercepted. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. And he tackles him hard at the 15-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. goes at the five-yard line. Hoping to go up two touchdowns here. And he's in there. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So a short three-play, 29-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Defense coming and the ball comes out. It's recovered. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He fights forward to about the 33. Cooper gains around three yards on the run. Fountain is back to receive. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. They'll bring him down around the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. Taken down at the 35. He's going to air it long. Tip 
knocked away. Brad, this corner just made a great play on the football. And you wonder if he's starting to maybe get into the mindset of this quarterback, and maybe the quarterback's going to look in the other direction to try to come up with a completion. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Tackle right around the 34. Scrambled. Slings it. Touchdown! Big play! And he tacks on the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Jayhawks took the field today, ranked 13th but wanting to prove they deserve a spot in the top 10. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Kansas, they reach the end zone with an aerial strike. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Kirk, you and I spent a time with these coordinators this week. I got to tell you, the defensive coordinator is a lot happier right now. Yeah, you're right. This is that matchup that we look forward to all week. This offensive scheme up against the speed and the attitude and the scheme of this defense. And right now, as you said, the defense is having their way. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And they push him out at the 43-yard line. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. From their own 43-yard line. First down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. That makes it second and eight. Brought down at the 41 yard line. First down. From the 41 yard line. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver. The 10. He's pushed out of bounds around the six-yard line. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's second and goal. Ball on the six-yard line. He's taken down at the three-yard line. That makes us third and goal. As we change ends of the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. 21, nothing. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. They put everyone up on the line. Good penetration by the defense. That's a loss of one on the option. This isn't much more than an extra point. It's up, and it's good. Glass looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Across midfield. And they finally tackle him at the 35. They're not only the better football team on paper, as they've demonstrated today, they're the better team on the field today. And this offense has been outstanding. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. 
Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Wrap him up. He's at the 20. Makes it out to about the 10. And he's level at the 9. That's a game of one on the play. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the nine. They come out in a five wide set. Halfback's got it on a quick throw. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to take a lot of will to keep up the fight and determination as they face a huge deficit, but still plenty of time left. Fires it quickly. And got him! And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. That's a that makes it first so after the big pass play, we've got a first down. And he's immediately tackled. Call it a game of 18 yards. First down. out to around the nine. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. From the 20-yard line, third down. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Kicks away, and he's got it. Kent State gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. McCall's reputation really precedes him when you talk about how he can lead a team, but when you see him in person, you really feel it, Kurt. Hey, it's a different, completely different feel when you watch him in person, and it has a lot to do with the intangibles that he brings to the table. I mean, there's examples here that his first half where he's been able to help his team not just being able to throw the football or make good decisions, but just helping guys get back into the huddle, kind of patting guys on the back, trying to get this offense to believe in themselves and almost just willing this team to a victory. And so far, he's done all those things. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Pitches, and he's got room. Makes it out to about the 49. Tackle. 
tackle made around the 43-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fires right side, got his tail back. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. to the halfback and he's got it again and he hits him hard at the 21 first down 10 to go ball on the 21 nice run up the middle call it a game of seven yards that'll bring up second and three well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. Here we go. Makes it to the 12-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Now he tries to buy some time, and he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he's got the touchdown. Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. Plays like that are just hard to stop. Once this young man gets on the move, it's highlight time. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 76-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Makes it out to about the 36. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. He gets hit out of bounds. The 39-yard line. Gaining three yards. That makes it second and six. Fires a bullet out to the right. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. That's a good one. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball in 34. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. Picks up about nine on the scramble. Golden Flashes taking their first time out of the half. You can't block me. You can't block me. Hey, check right 21. Right 21. Check right 21. Let's go. Just throws this one away. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. the catch and gets out of bounds man that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure especially on third down three. 
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Cooper gets six yards on the carry. Kent State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Here's the eighth play of the series. That's a great tackle at the 11th. Out and he's going to get sacked. To me, that's on the quarterback. He's got to be able to recognize and use his eyes and vision to be able to see that the corner is coming on a blitz. The offense didn't do a good job of picking up the blitz, but the quarterback's got to be able to see that and make the throw quickly to get the ball before the corner can sack him. And they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Throws into coverage, just picked off. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. And that interception might be what they needed to get back in this ball game. A nice try, Brad. Keep their hopes up, but I don't think they have a chance of winning this. They're too far down to catch up. First and 10. Ball on the 30. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. He sends this one deep. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. The offense calls a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. It's first and 10, ball on the 47. the 29. Well, that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything that they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give his receiver a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the kick. And he got it. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He's to the 40. Tackle right around the 50. And that's going to do it for the first half, and they're just trying to keep this thing close. 38-16. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. 
They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Complete. He's got room. The 50. And they push him out at the 33. That's good for a game of 42 yards. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Receivers got it on the screen, and he's taken down at about the 31. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That brings us to the seven. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. Glass looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. We're about set to start things up again. Easy, 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 easy. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 41 yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. run and he's brought down good gain by the tailback of about seven on the option play that'll make it second and four they're about four yards away here on second down and now he's got room to run he takes it right side for a good game to the tailback good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 44. He's at the 30. To the 10. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 74-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Defense really fired up. This guy's got to show some senior leadership out there and regroup his offensive linemen. They're getting outplayed right now. He 
fights forward to about the 16. The defense wasn't fooled by the draw. Great job of reading the play. Fountain is back awaiting the punt. Fountain fields it at the 41. Room around the corner. He's out of bounds at about the 41. And for McCall, he's been showing off a full set of skills today. Well, I can remember back when he was a freshman, he always had the raw physical ability and makeup. But I think the area that he's improved the most is he's become a real student of the game. Now he understands where to go with the football at a time. You know, this is where today's day and age, the dual threat quarterback can just kill you as a defense. You spend so much time and energy containing him and his threat of running the ball that he throws for three touchdown passes. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Slings it. He's taken down at about the 19-yard line. He scrambles, runs with it, and he's got room. And there's another one. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he hits the PAT. Crenshaw is lined up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. McCall's game so far, what we expected. He's a star, he's playing like one. We're in the third quarter. And he's done everything we expected and then some, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's just one of those guys that has the, the uh, ability to take a game over. And, you know, we've seen it all year with him. Uh, it's, it's not shocking to see what he's been able to do today. But it is fun to watch. I mean, he makes great decisions. He always seems to be able to be in command of this offense. And uh, up to this point, this defense has not been able to do anything to slow him down. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 28. He throws left. Number 88 was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. They come out on an empty backfield. Let's go! Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made right around the 40. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Fires quick. He catches another. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. Game 14 on the play. First down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires quick. He's got another one. Brought down at the 35-yard line. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35. Scrambling around, and he's sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Zips it to the back. 
And he's tackled at the 36 yard line. That makes it third and 11. And this is the eighth play of the drive. the middle for a nice game. Normally you look for the pass in those kinds of situations, but a very alert play stopped that run short of the sticks. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is up. It's got the distance, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Kirk, you look at the way this offense has played in the third quarter. I'm telling you, to be this consistent is pretty impressive. I think that's the thing that really stands out here is how consistent they have been, especially here in this second half. And I think it, it's really a, a, a product of the offensive coordinator and the quarterback being on the same page. And this quarterback just playing with so much confidence. I think it's affecting the rest of this team. He's scrambling. Wants to throw outside. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. And down he goes around the 23-yard line. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown. Nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. It was a textbook post route, and the pass was right on target. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It really has. They're dominating the point of attack. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. And we reach the end of three, and this game is all but decided. 59, 22. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick pass. Tackle at the 43-yard line. Shelton took the tackle at the 43-yard line. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 43. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. Can these guys do anything right? I mean, they're already getting blown out and now another interception? This is just one of those days. This is going to be a first down. And he's immediately tackled. That makes it first and ten. He's at the 20. Got it to the senior. And he's taken down at the 17. From the 17-yard line, first down. Now he tries to buy some time. Knocked out of bounds, right around the 20. The defense just kept pushing the play horizontally until there was nowhere left for him to go. Makes the catch and look out. They'll bring him down at the nine yard line. That'll make it 31. 
It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. There's another. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. A wild day at West Point. And for Ball State, they've won two straight. Crenshaw gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Fires it out. He goes out of bounds at the 29-yard line. A pickup of four on the play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Take four, take four. He might not be able to get the pass off. They bring him down. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Fires complete over the middle. He's at midfield. He's still moving. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at the 31-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. He's at the 20. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down at the 13-yard line. That's good for a game of 18 yards. Here's the eighth play of the series. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Timmons gains four yards on that reception. That makes it second and six. It's second down. Six yards to go. Ball on the nine-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. They'll give it off here. The draw play gets maybe two yards. That makes it Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he's tackled right around the six yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. He's on the run, and he throws it away. Have you ever heard of sportsmanship? You've got a huge lead, and you're still throwing the football. Boy, this time is incomplete, which stops the clock. I'm going to start pulling for the defense to get back into this game. It's second and ten. Ball on their own six. He wants it all. Got a man. Watch out here. 
Inside the 30. The 10. Breaks one and scores. And for McCall, he's just established a new school record for passing yards in a game. Every single pass he has thrown has been spot on today. The guys catching the ball have been pretty sharp, too. He makes the PAT. Crenshaw has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Sends it sailing downfield. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Just under two minutes in the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Cooper gets six yards on the play. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Number 83 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Here's third and nine. Ball on their own 26. Get to that quickly. Well, the stop made there is late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. And I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. Fourth down. Fountain is back deep to return the punt. They'll bring him down at the 36. McCall's day has been a memorable one. I don't think it's any surprise. Looks like they're going to roll to a win, Kirk. Now, he's demonstrated that he is far and away the best player on the field. And his team's happy to have him, obviously. We expected a great game from him, and that's exactly what we saw. You just hope that a game this uneven ends quietly. We don't want to see anything nasty and pointless at the end. He airs it out. Got it. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. We've seen a great performance by this quarterback, breaking the school record for most touchdown passes in a game. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. And he hits him hard at the 28. That's a game of three on the Second down and seven. Ball on their own 28. Six-yard line. And he throws right away. And he's tackled in the open field. McCall's performance today Right now, Kirk, the nation is watching, and uh, they're pretty impressed with what they saw. Yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of people are going to see the kind of numbers that he put up today. And more importantly, I think his... Grayson McCall with unreal stats today. 490 yards, 11 total touchdowns with 140 rushing yards added to that. You cannot get any better from that quarterback. Holy moly. All right, guys, we had a close, hard-fought game against Kent State. We beat them 80-22. to We are currently ranked number 12 in the nation. And after an 80-22 to win, I have a feeling we may be ranked a little higher. Also, I think Grayson McCall's 11 touchdowns might help boost 
himself back to the number one spot on the Heisman race. The man was lights out today. I mean, anytime you get 11 touchdowns, no one can handle you. All right, guys, but that is it. 80, Coastal Carolina, Kent State, 22. What a game. Let's take a look at some of these stats. Grayson McCall, six passing touchdowns, 490 yards, 81% completion percentage. He also had 140 yards with five passing touchdowns. Craziness. Our receivers did great today also. Like and subscribe, guys.